I'm the kind of person who has a hard time staying awake in any moving vehicle. Planes are the worst, though. When I board a plane, I'm usually fast asleep before it takes off. The day before yesterday, well, I think it was the day before yesterday. I'm not sure if more than a day has passed already. I boarded a plane flying from New York to Chicago after a short work trip. I sat next to a middle-aged lady and fell asleep while we were still taxiing towards the takeoff strip, then woke up when the plane took off, then fell back to sleep right afterwards. I woke up and I thought it maybe was the food cart because that usually wakes me up, but it wasn't next to me. The seat next to me was empty, and the entire row across the aisle. And while a plane is not the noisiest of places, this one was entirely silent. Lights on, fresh air, and no sound but the purr of the engine. I stood up and looked around. The plane was empty. No passengers, no flight attendants, and no pilots. The plane was flying all on its own. I noticed something strange in the cockpit windows, so I went back to the rows and looked out. The plane was flying over an endless expanse of water. I looked in all directions, and in all, there was nothing but water to see. That was almost 40 hours ago, according to my phone, but I don't know if I can trust it. Anyway, it will lose charge soon, so it will be a moot point. None of the charging ports work. The plane has kept on flying, apparently without the need to recharge fuel. Plugging on the controls does nothing. The food carts are empty, and the only water comes from the restroom. I've checked every single crevice of the cabin, and I can't find anything to break out. I try to contact my family, but calls don't go out, and social network messages and posts, if they receive it, go without any answer. Or maybe I just can't see the answer. I don't know how long this will last, or whether I'll be able to break out somehow. I'm posting this here in case anyone can read it. If you read it, please show it to the family of Porter St. John in Long Grove, Chicago. Porter Dean St. John disappeared on September 27, 2018, shortly before or after boarding a flight from New York to Chicago. His disappearance has been called a locked room mystery in investigative circles. After a business trip, St. John purchased a ticket for Spirit Airways Flight E6720 from LaGuardia, New York to Midway, Chicago, but it's unclear if he boarded the plane. St. John's boyfriend, Mark Logan, became worried when St. John didn't notify him of his arrival in spite of having told him about his departure, and after several hours went to Midway where he was notified that St. John's luggage had been left unclaimed, and missing persons alert was declared shortly after. Inquiries produced contradicting evidence about his presence on the flight. His luggage was checked in as boarded, ticket was scanned at the gate, and the passenger manifest lists his seat as occupied, but none of the passengers or flight crew recall having seen him on the plane. Security recordings show him walking and sitting in the waiting hall for his flight, but the camera covering the gate in the moments his flight boarded did not record any data in the window of three hours before or after his boarding. His hand luggage was not located on board of the plane. Any pings to his cell phone were unsuccessful, and no evidence was found of access to his social networks. As of September 2019, there is no evidence that may give us a lead to his whereabouts. Both Chicago and New York police forces, as well as anonymous forums on the internet, have offered theories explaining the disappearance, but none of them has been confirmed by any evidence. The Welvis Bay body is an unidentified stowaway that was found dead on December 10, 2018 in the West Air Flight 7590 from Cape Town, South America to Welvis Bay, Namibia. The body was found during routine maintenance, lodged in the ducts connecting the passenger cabin to the cargo deck. It is unclear how long it spent there or how it arrived there. Judging by its position, the stowaway was trying to crawl from the passenger cabin to the cargo deck, even if a stowaway would be more likely to go in the opposite direction. It got stuck in place where it wouldn't be able to move forward or backward, eventually dying there. No foul play is suspected in the death, although the way the stowaway boarded the plane was most likely illegal. The body belongs to a white male from the ages 25 to 40 and bears no particular marks that might aid to its identification. The autopsy report shows that when he died he was severely malnourished and fibers consistent with the lining of airplane seats were found in his digestive tract. The most probable cause of death was ruled to be dehydration. By the time he was found, he had been dead from two to six weeks, although how the body wasn't found before is unexplained. The good preservation status of the body has been suggested to be due to the dry and cold environment of the ducks during flight. The skin on the hands of the stowaway had been worn off trying to release himself, making fingerprint identification impossible, and no distinctive dental work had been performed on him. 
His clothes were of American making, but they had no particular traits that led to any identification of the man. After the autopsy, the body was embalmed and buried in a marked grave at Kuizuman Cemetery. Information has been shared with international police organizations in order to find any leads to identify the man or the reason of his presence in the plane.